is up everyone. It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. And today I'm gonna to try to persuade you into some place I've already been. So I'm hoping I already persuaded you, but it's Urban Barbecue Company. That's right. And I'm joined with General Manager Jesse White, who's gonna break us down, give us a little info on this hot spot that I found. So tell the viewers out there, they're out there. Why don't you tell them uh, what uh, Urban Barbecue brings to the table as far as barbecue? Well, we're definitely a different take on barbecue. We take from all different parts of the world, in America, of course. We go from North Carolina, all the way down to Texas, and up in Tennessee, we do different styles, but we make it our own. So we bring it into our own smokers in the back, take our own style, and we make it the best for all the people. Nice, and I can definitely attest to the own style. I actually have a soul roll that I actually reviewed a couple months ago. I'll put the link below. It's like an Asian barbecue fusion, and it was amazing. Got to check out that video. But let me tell you, if somebody is visiting Urban Barbecue for the first time, like straight up, I know you're going to probably have the brisket. I know you're probably going to have the pulled pork. I know you're probably going to have this Asian fusion I discussed. But if you had one thing that you can recommend to one customer, what would it be? Well, absolutely, our brisket hands down is kind of our signature soul rolls, you know, as oh, we tried before. Yeah, right. So if you take the brisket and the soul rolls, it's kind of where it's at. Absolutely. I hear you. I hear you. So I want to again thank Jesse for joining me on this journey, this barbecue journey. And we're going to test out some food for you guys and see if I like it or not. So join us. We're going to get knee deep in some barbecue. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, we are back and I am again joined with Jesse. He is gonna help me describe some of the food that I have placed in front of me here. And this stuff looks amazing. So first I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna let Jesse do the honors since he's a professional. All right, guys, so the first thing we got here, we got our pork sandwich Rachel style. We got coleslaw on it, our special sauce, and Swiss cheese melted over the top of it. <laughs> This thing is huge. I don't know if the camera can get the sheer magnitude of that, but it is enormous. All right, and here we have the old staple. Original brisket sandwich that we make in-house and smoke in-house overnight with a side of pickles, of course, and our delicious brioche bun that comes with all of our burgers and sandwiches. I'm like listening to him talk, and at the same time, I'm preventing myself from burying my face into this. Yeah, you know. And last but not least. All right, here we got our Urban Legend, which comes with so many different awesome things that we make here. It comes with our sausage of your choice, our chicken sriracha or our obey. It comes with, of course, our cheddar jack cheese. It comes with our brisket chili, and it's just freaking awesome. And I'm sensing... What's that hidden under there? Fritos. Fritos, yeah. Okay, because that's awesome. Yeah, take a look at all of this. I am going to have my hands full and my mouth full taste testing all of this barbecue goodness. Now out of these three that's laid in front of us, what are you gonna gravitate to the most? You're starving, you're hungry, maybe it was a late night. What are you going for? Well, it really depends how you're feeling, but if it was me, of course I would go for our brisket sandwich. It's kind of one of our signature things, but that's the thing to go for if you had a nice good night with some Jameson or something. <laughs> and then you got the classic brisket, of course, which is one of my favorites. Right, right. Jameson, you mean your friend Jameson? Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, his friend Jameson. I met him earlier, nice guy. So yeah, you actually touched on that. I wanted to kind of let them know. They actually do their sandwiches in different styles. So you actually can uh, knock this out in different styles here. Like I said, we went with the Rachel on the uh, pulled pork, but you can do like Blue Buffalo, Razorback, All-American, the endorsement. No, no endorsement, but you got the Cubano, the Roadhouse, the SoCal, the Bluegrass. I could go on and on. I'll put a close up of the menu um, and check it out. But there are so many other things here. There are shareables, which I'm guessing are shareable. Shareable. And share them. Appetizers for all you folks out there. UBQ wings. So we got some wing action going on. Uh, they do a bunch of other things, some green stuff for all you people out there who like the salad game. They've got some salads, desserts, kids menu. Bring the whole family, but uh, I'm gonna get up close and personal with this food now, so check all three of these out. There will be food being eaten. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna dive into the Rachel before it dives into me. Check that out. The pulled pork is just jumping out of the sandwich. It wants to get away, so wish me luck. This monstrosity pulled pork goodness from Urban Barbecue Company. Here we go.
Oh yeah, this is legit. It is packed with that smoked pulled pork and you can taste that Swiss cheese and the addition of the coleslaw, which I love on my barbecue sandwiches anyway, amazing. Also, just to mention, they have the Carolina barbecue, the uh, yellow barbecue, mustard base, and the red barbecue. So they got all these different sauces you can throw on there as well. So I'm gonna jump into this brisket sandwich because it is staring at me. Take a look at that. Look at that glistening brisket. Yep. Oh yes, that is some of the best brisket I have ever tried. It just comes right off, mm, melt in your mouth. You can taste the smokiness, mm, wow. Normally I throw some sauce on here and I might uh, towards the end of this, but it is so packed with flavor that you just don't eat it. And like I said, it just breaks off, it just breaks off. Break it off bring you off some. So yeah, wow, that is really good. Pickle. All right, so let's move on to the Urban Legend. All right, I love the name of this, the Urban Legend. This is actually a chili bowl here at Urban Barbecue, and it has the sausage, it has the brisket, it has uh, Fritos and cheese, and all just great, wonderful barbecue goodness. So let's try one of these sausages. <laughs> yeah, brisket. The brisket on this kind of reminds me of burnt ends, just tender brisket all up in your face noggin. But, uh, mm. Mm. shut the front door. Seriously, shut the front door. Don't let anyone in except me and you. All right, I've got my utensil. Let's dig into this. Oh yeah, there's chili. Oh yeah, you can see. Look at, I'm digging into it. We're getting a little bit of everything on this. And a Frito, right there, look at that. Wow, I am very rarely speechless. But this, is so good and even the chili on this has a nice barbecue flavor to it and i think they even put some of their brisket into their chili i could be wrong but i think they do wow the way the fritos has that little crunch and that saltness to it just adds perfectly with the brisket which is so moist it's like falling apart on the fork all right guys after trying all three of those products from urban barbecue i'm just gonna say it's amazing barbecue phenomenal i'm not going to rate all three of them i'm just going to bow my head and give an overall rating of my experience trying all three of these at urban barbecue company here we go so on a scale of one to 100 with one meaning don't even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of oh, i'm going to give urban barbecue a rating of Ninety-five. Ninety-five. It was amazing. Three words. Amazing. So, what do you want from me? Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Also, give Urban Barbecue a look. Check them out on all social media platforms. And if you are in the Maryland area, definitely stop in, tell them the endorsement sent you. Enjoy some great barbecue and some great service. So I need to get going because I need to eat the rest of this food. Cannot let it go to waste. That would be blasphemy. But thank you all for joining me, and we will see you soon with another review. Bye. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Jesse White. You have like an actor name. Yeah, I know, I should just be an actor, shouldn't I? Should. I heard you play music. What's I the deal with that? Music. I'm a producer, 
out the area and make a bunch of instrumental dance music and I play Whoa. in DC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you guys can come catch me. Catch me online, Chomp Chomp Beats. I'm playing at Rock and Roll Excel September 9th, so come see me. I did not know that. Awesome. Well, I wanted to take this time to say thank you. I think all of my viewers are going to thank you as well because this was amazing and you guys are great. I want to thank you for inviting me over. I want to thank you for coming in and thank you guys for watching and definitely check out the endorsements some more. Yeah, check me out. All right, you heard it here. Jesse agreed to do a shot of the yellow barbecue sauce. But before we do, Jessica. did not want to indulge in this. This is to you. Here Cheers. we go. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Disclaimer, it is amazing barbecue sauce when used correctly, done in a shot. It was an experience though. And I could say, you should get t-shirts made up. I survived the yellow shot.